And welcome back to ABC 25 Local Lifestyles. We're really excited to have University of Evansville President Dr. Chris Petruskevich with us here to tell us about some big news that's really going to help thousands of children, young people gain access to successful schools and community support system. So, Dr. P, can I call you that? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's what one of our producers, when I was like making sure I said it right, he was like, I bet if he's here, he'll just let you call him Dr. P. I said, well, we'll see. That's about what that. happens on campus every day. <laughs> I bet, yes. Um, so, this is really, really big big news. So kind of tell us about um, this Evansville Promise Neighborhood Grant uh, that we've been awarded. Oh, this is fabulous. Yeah. So three in the country. Right. I know. This I saw year. that. That's amazing. St. Louis, Mississippi and the University and of us. Evansville and yeah. Evansville yeah. Uh, to be able to benefit our community. So this right. is this is kind of climbing Mount Everest. Yes. Of federal grants. It, That's awesome. It, it's as good as it gets. Tell us the amount. <laughs> so 30 million. Wow. Did you hear that? 30, yeah. 30 million for Evansville and 32 million in matching funds. That's what's um, impressive too. It, uh, other agencies in the community match. So kind of everybody came together. So that's 62 million dollars now uh, right here in our community. It's it's hard to kind of yeah. think about in your mind how you quantify what right. 62 million dollars means for the three zip codes and 12 right. census tracts, mm -hmm. six schools, and the impact that we're going to be able to make over the course of the next five years. That's right. So it's over five years. You mentioned the six schools. Tell us which schools those are here in the Evansville area. So Delaware, mm -hmm. Evans, Lincoln, Lodge, Glenwood, and Bossy High School. How did that process come about? What made you pick those schools and those neighborhoods? So first, we've applied for this four times before. Okay. And so it's it's a difficult process. It's a very it, it has competitive been. one. Yep, the university's been involved in the last two. And what we've discovered over the course of the last couple rounds mm -hmm. is that if you focus on everybody, you don't be you can't be able to scale it later. Okay. So we want to be able to focus on six schools and we looked at census tracts, we looked at poverty mm -hmm. rates, we looked at school success rates, and all of those things together we brought in an outside right. consulting firm that okay. helped us figure out which six should be the starting point. And if we do this well, we get to scale it and be better for everybody. That's right. It's not just, and not just like you said, those neighborhoods. This is going to have such a big impact on the whole community. Why is that? Well, because there's so many, so many agencies involved. So mm -hmm. it's not only the University of Evansville. Right. There's 23 partner agencies that are working with us. That's incredible. The mayor's office, uh, ERAP, uh, Evansville Vandenberg School mm -hmm. Corporation have been really fantastic partners. And you can't do it without the community doing right. it together. Yeah, all of us together. All of us together. So we're not doing this grant to Evansville. We're doing this grant with Evansville. Right, that's right. And that's the important part. So we came up with what the four building blocks look like mm -hmm. after conversations with 2,500 people. Yeah. Wow. It's the community members, it's the business leaders, it's all the right people that told us what they need in the community. And then we're able to provide that over the course of five years and with the Sustainability Council that after, long after the $30 million of federal money comes mm -hmm. into Evansville, we can sustain this long after the five years. That's right. What made you, you mentioned, you know, you were kind of the lead on this, the University of Evansville, but with so many other agencies, what made you guys want to take the lead and really do all of the hard work to make this happen? Well, I think the university is such a big part of our community. Right. If our community gets better, so does the university. Mm -hmm. And if the university gets better, so does our community. And this is one way that, you know, over the course of the last couple of years, we have become more and more involved in the community, maybe not on this scale mm -hmm. before, but everything from solar panels at Carver Center right. to reducing infant mortality rates in a partnership with the health department. This is just a, a bigger version of what we have been doing over the course of the last couple of years. And I think you'll see a lot more from the University of Evansville. Yeah, and we've got a really exciting uh, next five years to look forward to uh, because of this grant. So thank you so much, uh, Dr. P, for telling us all about it today. And thank you uh, to the University of Evansville and all uh, that were a part of bringing this uh, to our community. We're excited about it. We're, we're really excited yep. to something that we can bring to our community. And we'll see you again soon, I'm sure. Thank you. And we're going to be right back. We've got more local lifestyles coming up right after this.